course is significant. The last 30 seconds of the sixth round were, were very important. Let's see if they can continue. Rangel knows now he can be hurt badly by the Espinosa right hand. Espinosa comes out a little bit quicker and a little bit more intently than he has to start the seventh round. And the crowd takes up a chant, Louis, Louis. Very popular young man in the West, from near, relatively nearby Phoenix. He's fought here in Las Vegas many times. And the fight fans here in Las Vegas, especially the showboat, appreciate an action fighter. That's what Louis Espinosa is. In this yeah, arena, very few boxers, fancy Dan's, uh, get the attention of the crowd here. Yeah, this is a good fight crowd here. There's no question about it. Well, I got to tell you, I still think Ray Gell's pitching a shutout. Uh, the one round, round two, is the only one in my question in my mind. It's true Espinosa landed very well in the last 30 seconds, but I thought Ray Gell won the first two and a half minutes of that round. One of those rounds, though, that you have an idea that Espinosa could have stolen. Very possibly with that really good flurry at the end. Louis is really tentative in throwing that right hand. He wasn't toward the end of round six. Well, I'm not suggesting it's panic time for Louis Espinosa, but it's getting close. Uh, excellent punch by Alfred. What Louis Espinosa needs to do is jab his way in and just unload that right hand in several times. That worked for him toward the end of the sixth round. Because he may be getting to the point where even if my scoring isn't absolutely right on with the judges, I would think Rangel has to be a big right by Rangel. Wow. Two of them in this round. That shows you what, what Louis Espinosa is made of. Yeah, because he moved right into that right hand twice. And Rangel does have 10 KOs in his 17 wins. So this 22-year-old can punch a little bit. You know, I guess the question has to be asked, Al. Why, why would Louis Espinosa and his people take this fight? Well, because they want to stay active and you have to fight. And Keep yourself active so you can get a shot at a, at a title. But but wouldn't the draw with Paez have given him enough impetus to get a title shot? Very possibly, but he's, he's built his career on fighting often and tough guys. That's the way it really should be with everybody in boxing. The other thing becomes what we're used to. Yeah, that's true. I agree with what you're saying. I just don't see it very much. And Espinosa is tagged by Rangel and comes back with a right hand of his own. mentioned the fact that this is a very good fight crowd here at the showboat. story Espinosa with 45 of 110 and those have have not been that powerful Rangel landing enough jabs to do his mission he goes down that is not a knockdown I guess he was pushed through the ropes it's the most encouraging thing that's happened to Espinosa took a left hand from Rangel again Rangel is just quicker but Espinosa is stronger and still dangerous. He is always while he's in the ring because you saw it at the end of the sixth round where he hurt Rangel with those right hands. I mentioned that could be a key turning point in this fight, but it wasn't because Espinosa couldn't find a way to repeat it. Land the combination, get away. It's very simple for Rangel. Not so easy always to do, but that's the way you fight Louis Espinosa. That's the way Jesus Pole did and won. Rangel has fought a brilliantly executed fight. This is where Espinosa did the most damage as he tries to muscle Rangel into the ropes, but he won't go. 
but those are ranked number two by two of the governing bodies coming off a draw with the IBF champion. And right now he is in a life and death struggle in terms of winning and losing anyway with Alfred Rangel. And so this youngster, oh boy, this 22 year old is looking at a big moment if he can keep it up. He doesn't have too far to go. Tell you what, there's a lot of homes cabled in San Antonio, Texas. You can bet your bottom dollar. A lot of them are watching this bout, and they're happy. Absolutely. Well, that man has really fought an exemplary fight tonight. He hasn't backed off a bit in this final round either. He's fighting a very good tactical fight even in this last round. I beg your pardon, in this ninth round. He would love it to be the tenth because he's got to feel confident about what he's done. There's a right hand by Espinosa thrown with, as my friend Gil Clancy would say, bad intentions. dictated the entire fight. It's just that simple. They're happy in that corner. They may be three minutes away from the biggest win that young man has had as a pro. Again, there's, there's really not much advice that they can give. I cut it off. Boy, last round, give it everything you got. Walk right through him. Walk through him. of this one and a crowd alive at the showboat and we'll see if Espinosa can in fact walk right through Rangel look at the total punches in our punch profile and uh, that would be a pretty good indication even if you want to argue a punch here and there that Rangel has certainly landed many more than Louis Espinosa Espinosa cocks the right hand and doesn't throw it. And he takes a right hand from Rangel. Now Louis is unloading that right now, and he better. Smart move by Rangel, tying him up on the inside. After his loss to Stevie Cruz, He's beaten Fernando Ramos, Capri Lipkins, and Ricardo Flores as uh, Alfredo Rangel. And his people, Rich Landers, said he has got a great attitude now, and it's showing in this bout. Yeah, he's really fighting a very disciplined fight. And even in this last round, he is still getting off quicker and getting out of there. He is in, and make no mistake about it, against one of the best featherweights in the world. Certainly one of the most dangerous. And for Louis Espinosa, if this should be a loss, boy, it would set him back dramatically. Espinosa finally catches up with him, but Rangel fights off the ropes. And a left hand by Espinosa gets, or rather by Rangel, gets Espinosa out of there. Getting to desperation time now for Louis Espinosa. I think he's got about a minute to knock Rangel out or lose this fight. Of course, the judges will have the official word, but I would be astonished yes, I if would Rangel would lose this decision. Well, you could even tell the tone in the corner of Lee Espinosa between the ninth and tenth rounds. Oh, now Rangel just stays away. They knew. They, they said, you just got to walk right through him. You got to knock him out. And Rangel now 
Why not? Why not use all of this very big showboat ring? Espino's on top of him, hits him with the right hand. Rangel holds on. 15 seconds left in the fight. I'd hold on for the last 15 seconds. Or run. I'd grab him and I'd, I'd look like Tommy Hearns against James Kinchin in that fourth round. Boy, I'd, I'd hold and hold. Or start from a crouch and run. Yeah. I... <laughs> That's it's over. It. Great fight for Alfred Rangel. They certainly think he won, and Louis Espinosa none too happy about his effort. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the official scoring. We have a split decision. Oh, my. Well, there you are. Corey scores the foul. 96-95 for Espinosa. Bobby Shirley scores it. 97-93 for Rangel. Cindy Barton scores the belt, 97-93 for the winner by split decision, Louis. Oh, no!